The Pitt NFL draft prospects. A lot of them get drafted, and Pitt is up there with some of the best in the nation in terms of raw numbers. Let's talk about this and why this could be a big boost for the program. It's coming up today on this episode of Locked on Pitt. <laughs> You are Locked On Pit, your daily podcast on the Pittsburgh Panthers, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. On everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Locked On Pit Podcast, your daily podcast covering the Pittsburgh Panthers, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. And today I want to talk a little bit about... Just in general, the NFL draft. I think that the NFL draft has really come along quite well for Pitt. Um, Specifically, I think they've done a really good job of building everything out to where this program is consistently hearing its name called on day one, day two, and day three now of the NFL draft. And this was a very plentiful draft that had many Pitt Panthers selected. It had... Obviously, Kalaja Kansi go in the first round, but then you had Carter Warren, Izzy Abani Candace, Ravasi Adenas, Eric Hallett, Brandon Hill all selected in this draft with multiple other guys like Jared Wayne, Desmond Alexander, Habba Baldonado, and others getting themselves some UDFA deals. And it's not just them, too, you know, even transfers from Pitt from last year's team like Cam Bright and obviously Jordan Addison going first round. Um, but these are all people with Pitt attached to the name uh, that have that pedigree and that Pitt can use to sell them on. And so to me, this is really kind of what makes them extremely unique. I, I don't think there's a lot of teams at their level that are simply producing NFL talent like they are. And I think Pat Narduzzi has done a great job of building out his program to where he could point to it and say, we've produced guys here, here, here. Come play for me. Especially on the defensive side of the football, this is especially true. That is just a proven factory maker at this point. It's not even mythical. Um, It's just there. You see it. The defensive back position in particular has proven to produce DBs that are NFL ready and play at a high level. Dane Jackson, Damar Hamlin, Jordan Whitehead. Um, you look at Jason Pinnock. You look at Damari Mathis. You look at all of those guys. And then you look at two more this year. And it's very possible to me that, and in fact, I, I think it will continue next year, that at the very least, next year, you probably have MJ Devonshire and then Marquez Williams. I mean, so this streak is going to be very strong. I think it continues to go because these guys just produce high-level talent day in, day out, and it's incredibly impressive to see Pitt put that up. The defensive line, too. You know, be from Patrick Jones and Rashad Weaver to Jalen Twyman to Kalaja Kansi to all of these guys. This Pitt defensive line is now something, and Pitt also has the offensive pizzazz to go with it. They could sell linemen on Warren and O'Neal. They could sell running backs on a Banny Kanda. Wide receivers, look at Jordan Addison go. Um, you know, you can sell guys. You can certainly sell quarterbacks on Kenny Pickett. Um, so there are just a lot of different guys you could point to in the NFL. And this is why Pitt's pro success to me is very important. And I think it is really important when we're talking about specifically what they need to do in order to take jumps or to have something there as a group In the ACC, and I think the, the draft is, is as important a position and, and, and in your program, importantly. I think when you look at Pat Narduzzi, he will tell you how important the draft is for the perception of where recruits view Pitt on the grand scheme of things because it is a big-time thing. And so, you know, this is going to be a big boost for Pat Narduzzi, just continuing 
to put out guys into the NFL. And it's like they come out like hotcakes now. It really is like that. It's one after the other, after the other, after the other, after the other. And so Pitt, to me, is really starting to build up quite a resume. And you don't get on the same list as some of these teams unless you build out that resume. You look at Pitt, had tied the most in the ACC, tied fifth most in the nation. They've had 25 picks since Pat Energy took over, but since 2021, 14 different players have been picked from the University of Pittsburgh. That, to me, is incredibly impressive. I think Pitt really sticks out in that way. You know, over the past three years, Pitt has the most, the most draft picks out of the ACC. More than Clemson, more than UNC, more than Virginia Tech, more than Miami, more than FSU, more than any of those teams. Pitt has number one. And you talk about recruiting boost. Well, that's how you can get recruiting boost, folks. Getting stats like that, that prove where you are in your conference relative to NFL development, because yes, NIL and, and fit and all of this stuff is key now. It is, but it's not as important still as the fact that I can sell to you that I have the ability to get you to where you're really going to make the big bucks in the NFL. And that's a big thing. And I want to keep talking about this first but first, folks, I want to let you know about Built Bar, because, folks, if you're looking for a delicious snack, but you don't want all the sugar and calories, then you need the best tasting protein bar ever. And I mean ever. It's built. You got to try it, folks. And listen, you might want to make healthier snack choices. Built Bars are healthy and taste amazing. Built Bars and Built Puffs, they have it all that you could want. You got to try it. And what makes Built Bars so good? Well, for starters, they're covered in 100% real chocolate. That's right. Real chocolate and come in so many different flavors like churro, peanut butter, brownie, cookies, and cream. All these unique flavors, but they're only 130 calories. And they only have 4 grams of sugar with a crazy 17 grams of protein, folks. And you don't even have to wait to get in a box anymore because for years we've been talking about ordering Built Bars at Built.com. And you can still do that. But you can go to your local Walmart or Sam's Club while you still can and get those specialty flavors at Built.com or in person. And, folks, you can go to your nearest Walmart, walk to the pharmacy section, grab some Built Bars. You can get a full full four-bar box of cookies and cream, double chocolate bar, coconut puff, Sam's Club. You can run and get a 13-bar box of hit flavors, brownie batter buff, or churro puff. There is everything you could want right there from Built Bar. So make sure to check it out at Built.com or head to your local Walmart or Sam's Club today. All right, folks. I want to now just kind of throw out some stats to you about where Pitt stands in terms of players drafted. Because this is incredibly impressive. This year... For example, it has many drafted players as uh, Ohio State. So how about that one? Mississippi State had more in the 2022 and 2023 NFL drafts. But the list of got of ex- colleges on the same level as Pitt that have produced as many, it ends there. Alabama, Georgia, Ohio State, and Oregon – have produced more than Pitt outside of Mississippi State. Pitt continues the tear. It's it's just a a stat. Only programs that have produced top 20 picks in 2022 and 2023, those being Kenny Pickett and Kalasha Kansi. A narrow list as well, of course. You look at the draft picks by school. Alabama, Georgia, Michigan, TCU. Cool. Those teams, you know, are, are competing for playoff spots. TCU was just their course in the national championship game. Michigan was in the college football playoff. Georgia won the entire thing. Alabama is Alabama. And then Ohio State, Oregon, LSU, Penn State, Clemson, Florida. Pitt is right there with them. That is, to me, where you are 
with Pitt, and that's without Jordan Addison counting in there. And obviously, if I am Pat Narduzzi, I am selling Jordan Addison's success here at Pitt to prospective wide receiver recruits because, of course, you would, and and why wouldn't you? So I think this, to me, is 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 one of the biggest the biggest things when we are talking about recruiting bumps. And we see it happen to Pitt at the positions where they really hit hard. They continuously get solid defensive backs for a reason. The defensive line, they get quality recruits there forever. Part of that's Charlie Partridge's mystique and his ability to recruit too. But a big part of that is also just the fact that Pitt has produced a ton of guys that have gone to the NFL level. I mean, it's really not hard to sell that when you say, okay, here, we have enough you know, NIL money. It, it, it's, it's there, but we also can get you the NFL. And that's really what Pitt can do. And that's what makes Pitt so fun to watch in terms of what they can do and really come over here uh, into that realm. And so sell that to recruits out on the trail. Tell them, look at this defense. Look at what it does for you. Look at what they have done. And so I think Pitt is in a great spot in terms of NFL development for a program at their size, you know, a program that is ascending right now, right? Back to back top twenty five finishes, they're they're in ascending standing wise. They are winning games. They've won twenty games over the past two years with an ACC championship in there as well. Uh, you know the New York New Year's Six appearance. They've had a first round quarterback, a, essentially a first round wide receiver. They've had a running back that has put up video game numbers. They have all of these things that just kind of go boom, 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 and that's where Pitt really to me, immerses themselves into kind of a different mold than other teams would be at their uh, stature because not a lot of teams will come around and, and fill that void. And I think that in particular makes Pitt a very unique team. And I think that's going to bring a lot of quality recruits. And when they come on camp, you know, when they come on campus, um, I think that's also just as important is, all right, look at Pitt and say, whoa, uh, this this is a team that has produced and produced at a high level and continues to produce, right? And, and so I, I think that's just as important for anything that Pitt wants to do and, and kind of anything that Pitt looks at for when they are building their squad out is saying, man, we've got to get like, kind of like, skill setted guys to the guys we have had and the guys we know we can get. You know, they get high three star athletes that are workout warriors. It's great talent evaluation. They turn them into NFL prospects. And that continues this chain. And that's what's going to make Pat Narduzzi's program in the long run good. And that's what I mean. You know, I I really feel like this program has its kind of sweet spot where they recruit those high-end three stars with good offer sheets. It's all about talent evaluation. You know, teams come knocking at the door to try and poach Pitt's prospects yearly. We, how many times do we talk about that? Where it's, man, Pitt has another team coming after this guy. And this guy, you know, we talked about, you know, Jordan Bass last year and Shadarian Harrison. And obviously some of those players ended up getting pulled away like Kenny Minchie. You know, Notre Dame comes knocking there. Uh, there are teams that end up coming and knocking and end up pulling pit some Pitts players away. And they end up going on to be great players. Or there are other times where, you know, Pitt gets in early and they end up hitting home runs. For example, Jordan Addison. You know, he's a blue chip prospect by every measure. I know some teams wanted to play a bit defensive back, but he was a four star prospect from the state of Maryland and Pitt landed him because they got in early. And so to me, this is really kind of 
the encapsulation of how Pitt wins on the trail. And, and so I look at Pitt at this point and say, stay in your lane because you know what you have. Um, you, you know exactly where you have to go with this program. It's proven at this point what Pitt has. And so that really is, to me, what you take away from this draft. It's working. And there are other guys down the list that I can point to. MJ Tevichshire is going to be there. Trust me, that guy's an NFL talent. You watch him play the game of football, and you can't help but not see the next NFL football player right there, in my opinion. Uh, you look at... At the defensive line and all those young guys and all the traits that they have potentially, uh, you just look at that team. You know, even you know guys on offense. You know, Phil Jerkovich, for example, could definitely be an NFL guy. Uh, there are just guys on this team that, to me, year after year, pop out and say, "How in the world did Pitt land that guy as a three star?" It, it maybe the offer sheet isn't even that crazy. And so, what in the world is going to stray you from that path? And why would you? So, honestly, at this point, you have that recruiting boost to sell. You have the idea already built in. You won proven with this exact formula. And the NFL draft continues to prove it, in my opinion, Pitts on the right direction. And that's the biggest thing to me about this weekend. When you talk about the entire thing, Pitt is on the right direction. And it's not easy to say that, right? You know, because Pitt could easily be off the beaten path. And listen, this group, it is not just a Oh, we got them slam dunk. Wait, they're not recruiting five stars or high four stars very often. And so by landing these guys at high three, sometimes low fours, you have to coach them up. And it's a real testament to what they have built here, the coaching staff they have built, the trust in their town evaluation and draft and, and then development process. I think Pitt has that, and that's what they've proven to be able to grow into a winner with. And, and so – this group really is indicative. This crop of players that won the ACC championship and then carried it through is just indicative to me of what Pitt has a as a program and where they grow from here. Uh, you know, they utilize the portal in very specific ways, landing guys like Tyler Wiltz, Marcus Minor, Johnny Patrician, um, so many others as well. Sprinkle that in, and, and, and Pitt is competitive in the era of college football that it is right now where we don't know what would happen, but that's what they show. And so recruiting bumps, development, pits going in the right direction and great for these young men to see where they land. But this draft weekend continues to prove that Pitt is heading in the right direction. All right, folks, I'm going to make another episode where I just want to talk about the landing spots for these guys. That'll be coming up next. But folks, as always, thank you for listening to the Locked on Pit podcast. And as we end it here, as always, hail 